Hey guys, what's going on? Simply Think Dreams. I just wanted to make this video real quick to get the word out uh, that I recently received regarding an action being brought against President Barack Obama regarding his eligibility as president-elect for the t term of 2013. Um, <clears throat> I just learned about this action, I don't know, it was a couple days ago. I've been meaning to shoot this video, but I've been bogged down. But anyways, we need your help. We need you guys to write in your congressmen to support the action. Um, this action is different than all the other ones that were brought before it because all those other actions were very complicated. Uh, they, a lot of them are not the correct action to bring regard to challenge what they were challenging uh, or they were untimely filed and weren't, it wasn't the proper timing for them. But right now is the perfect timing because Congress is currently reviewing uh, Barack Obama's eligibility and so this is the proper time to bring uh, the, the uh, writ of quo Veronto against Obama. <clears throat> now, a man named Zane Gray, he just recently filed on December 21st, 2012, uh, a notice and demand to secure a writ of quo Veronto. It was served upon the Attorney General's office uh, on that date, December 21st, 2012. And so the way quo Veronto works is that <clears throat> The Attorney General has to take, uh, make that case precedent over all his other cases except for other quo Veronto actions and he can either choose to prosecute the case or he can give leave to the person bringing the case uh, to prosecute it. So if he doesn't choose to prosecute it himself, then Zane Gray will be able to prosecute this, the case by himself under the full power of the Attorney General's office. Now uh, this is an extraordinary remedy at law and most people don't know about it or how to properly apply it, but uh, Zane does so, and he's filed that. Now what we need your help for is, we need you guys to help us push Congress to make this like a issue coming to the forefront because you know a lot of people in America right now are questioning Obama's eligibility for office and the facts need to be vetted on this matter. And if he is a citizen, then he should be able to prove it no problem, and you know that'll be that for that. But Chances are that he's not a natural born citizen. In fact, all the facts indicate that he is not. And therefore, if he can't prove his citizenship, he'll be ousted from office immediately. And Mitt Romney will be the default winner of the election and he'll become the president in 2013. Now, I know a lot of you guys are Ron Paul supporters and think Romney's just as bad and everything else. Well, I would agree. I don't really like Romney. I'm a Ron Paul supporter. But the fact is, this is just a matter of law. And if Obama <clears throat> isn't eligible for office, then he needs to be kept out of that office because we can't just start, you know, breaking all the laws in a constitutional republic, which by definition is a nation ruled by law. So it's our duty as citizens to make sure that the government follows the law and doesn't blatantly just disregard it as it seems they're doing in this matter. So we need you guys to press your congressman and also the attorney general to to prosecute this case and bring it to the forefront and have the facts vetted on it. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to switch over to my screen view here in a second and I'll show you exactly how to do it, where to go, and what to do in order to do that. So hang tight. Alright guys, and I'm back here. So what you're going to do is go into your browser and type in the browser bar www.teamlaw.net. It's going to bring you to Team Law's website and here at the top you are going to see a news alert call to action. You're going to want to click this link here. And that will take you to the Team Law Open Forum system where there is a post titled Call to Action, which is this post here. And you're going to want to read through this and you're going to make sure you want to click this link here because this is the actual notice and demand for action to secure a writ of quo Waranto that was filed by Zane Gray on December 21st, uh, 2012. So you're going to want to read that. Once you finish reading the rest of this, you're going to get down to the bottom here. <clears throat> and this is really where we need your help. We need you guys to email and mail, physically mail your congressmen, uh, pressing them to have this issue settled and uh, to you know, have this matter put forth before Congress so that all the facts can be vetted regarding Obama's eligibility as president. So in order to do that, click a sample cover letter here. It's already written out. Just download it. You might have to right click and click save as. I don't have to because I'm using Chrome. 
you open it up, just put your name and your address up here at the top, fill in your congressman's name and your congressman's address. You probably want to personalize this here to the specific congressman who you're sending it to. And then at the bottom here, you just want to sign your name. All right? And if you're when you're mailing this out physically, you're going to want to also actually physically sign your name. Uh, now, when you send these out, it's important that you not only send this, but you also send this notice and demand here. You're going to want to print this out and attach it to each copy you send out to the congressman. In addition to sending it to the congressman, you're going to want to send the same thing to the attorney general, but it's not the exact same uh, thing that you should send. There's, they have a cover letter here uh, that you can click on for the attorney general. I'm going to click that to download it, open, and you know, again, fill in your name and your address. The date's already taken care of. And it's a little bit shorter. And you're going to want to put your name here, sign that. And again, you're going to want to attach this other document here, the notice and demand for action to secure a rate of quo ranto to that. Now, when you email it, what I suggest is taking and highlighting this link here from and just copying it, right? And when you're in your email, you're just going to right click and paste that in your email to your congressman. Now, they also make it easy to find your congressman. You can just click the congressman link and it brings you up contacting the Congress. You can enter your street address with your city, state, zip, or you can probably even click on these things. I just entered it here and you submit. So let's say, we'll just say, we'll go and fill this in real quick, Fern now. All right, whoops. Ferndale, Pennsylvania, 18921, submit, and it's going to bring up contacting the Congress. Here you can see Robert Casey, Pat Toomey, and Mike Fitzpatrick are uh, the representatives for the area that I'm from. So <clears throat> I would just click on there. This will give me their address in DC. Since they're in session now, this is the address you're going to want to use. Uh, again, you're going to want to send this overnight if you can. I know overnight is probably a little bit expensive, but if you can afford it, definitely send it overnight. If not, send it by the fastest means possible that you can afford because we need to get this matter in the courts before uh, January 20th. All right, so quickly as possible. So that's how you do that. If you wanna, if you wanna contact these guys via email, then you would click on this contact form, and you can find out how to contact them. Here you go, right here. Just fill all this info in. Each site's different. You'll see. Put your message in here, and you can just copy and paste that link like that in there in your message, so they know. Uh, what you're talking about with the notice and demand for action to secure a writ of quo ranto. So, as you'll see, I'll click on Toomey's real quick. He has a different website. These guys have their own different websites for contacting. And here you can see right away, you can email Senator Toomey. So, I, you know, I click on that and email him. So, there you have it. Pretty simple. Same thing, and then even Fitzpatrick has a different one. So that's a simple, easy way. I've laid out exactly how to do it. You have no excuse now. It's uh, right there for you guys to do. All, all the information's there. So you don't really have an excuse to say, oh, I don't know how to do it, or it's too much work because the letters are already written. All you got to do is put your name and address, take the time to mail them out, and spend a few bucks. So just do it. Take action. Now, there's no time to wait. It's got to be in the courts before the 20th of January, and <clears throat> this matter needs to be solved as soon as possible. So thanks for watching Simply Think Dreams. You guys, have a good night. Bye. One last thing, guys. I know I said bye already, but... 
here's a little PS. Share this video with as many people as you possibly can. You know, get this word out. Share Team Law's link to their open forum system. Uh, just get the word out to as many people as you can. So that's part of the call to action, of act, call to action too. Don't just take action sitting in your congressman and the attorney general, but also spread it to all your friends and family and uh, you know everyone you know so that they can do the same and we can get this thing going viral and have people just you know pouring the letters into Congress and the Attorney General so thanks for taking action guys uh, we'll see what happens soon take care simply think dreams signing out for real this time bye